Independiente are one of the biggest five historic clubs in Argentina. And did you know that there is a 23-year-old dual national American Argentinian player currently wearing the number 10 for that team? Alan Senora is a player that is dribbling players, assisting players, and scoring. Not just scoring either, he's scoring from outside the box and on free kicks. The US has been missing a free kick specialist for a long time, and so today we're going to learn a little bit more about Alan Senora and what he does best on the pitch. He has multiple free kick goals that we'll see a bit later on in this video, and this is a player that is rumored to be joining us in the June camp. Now the US for a long time has been missing a free kick kick specialist. So to have a player like Alan Senora that can come in and be a part of this national team, really start to show his qualities for the US and potentially take over some of those free kick abilities, whether those are direct free kicks or corner kicks, we'll see later on again how effective he can be from that position. The Thief America Show. Hey everyone, I am Jake and I am a licensed coach from the US Soccer Federation and the English Football Association. I'm currently working towards some of my UEFA licenses while living in London, and I love to break down the players, tactics, and strategies as it relates to the US men's national team. If you could do me a huge favor if you enjoy this content or if you've seen any of my other videos and you're back, please consider subscribing to the channel as it makes a huge difference to YouTube showing this to more people. I've also compiled a PDF scouting report for Alan Senora, so if you appreciate that type of stuff and you wanna look beyond the clips that we'll watch and some of the statistics that we'll look at, make sure to check out the Patreon as you can download and view the full PDF there. Now before we get to his strengths and weaknesses, he was actually born in the US because his father was an MLS player and his brother Joel has been part of the US setup before but at this point, his brother Joel is on a lesser valued club, and he hasn't been a part of the U.S. setup since he was 20. He's 25 now, so it's really up to Alan Senora to be a part of that brotherhood that comes into the U.S. national team. Now, he wears the 10 for his club team in Argentina, and we can see here that he is an attacking midfielder, but actually he has the qualities to make him a two-way player. We know that Greg is somewhat reluctant to play with a number 10, but at the same time, if we are playing teams that sit deep and bunker, this could be the player that helps to unlock those defenses. I say that because in a per 90 rating, Alan Senora is the fourth best passer in the Argentinian first division among all attacking players. So that includes attacking midfielders, wide wingers, wide players, inside forwards and center forwards. Alan Senora is making the fourth most amount of passes per 90, and out of the top eight, he has the highest passing accuracy. Now that passing accuracy is made all the more incredible because in progressive passes, he actually stands third best in the division with 9.36 progressive passes per game. Pairing his high amount of progressive passes with his high passing accuracy, not only is he moving the ball into the attacking third really well, but also with a lot of quality and accuracy to get the ball to the right player in the right spaces. Now add to the fact, again, thinking about the way that the US likes to play and counter press when we lose the ball, Alan Senora has the 34th most recoveries in the final third per 90, and in counter pressing recoveries, he ranks 12th in the Argentinian division. I know that Greg doesn't like to play with creative tens, but actually, if we put Alan Senora in our midfield, he will do a lot of the dirty work to make up for what Greg thinks is a lack of effort and physicality. Now what I love most about Alan Senora, and again, not just his passing ability and his dribbling ability to get past players and give us dangerous opportunities in the opponent's half when they're bunkering or playing a low block, is that he really likes to shoot from distance. And honestly, we talk a lot in the circles of the US men's national team or even the coaching circles of how do we break down a low block. And one of the rawest ways to do that is to take a lot of shots hope for the best, and make it really messy in front of the goalkeeper. Now, if we need players that are not afraid to shoot from distance, Alan Senora is not just a player that will shoot and is not scared to shoot from distance, but actually has a really high rate of scoring from that area as well. If you think about our other midfielders like Tyler Adams, even Weston McKinney, Eunice Musa, none of them have a great shot from distance. I would actually almost say that Serginho Dest is the American player that has the best shot from distance. So if we need a player like that, that's getting into more attacking positions in the midfield, that player could be Alan Senora instead of depending on a right wing back to cut inside 
and make those shots available. Now, something funny that I found about Alan Senor in the scouting report is that he actually has more goals from outside the penalty area than inside. He has five goals from outside the penalty area and three goals inside of it, as well to go along with two goals from direct free kicks or penalties. And usually I like to watch the clips with you guys and talk over them as to what I'm seeing. But actually, I really just want you guys to make sure to watch these clips and why we should be excited about him, but there's there's almost a calm confidence about the way he plays and the way he takes his shots. So while watching these clips, just think about all the statistics that we just put behind this and think about the danger that he creates while watching these clips. And I think you guys will be very excited if his name shows up on the team sheet to join the squad in June. You need to let me know down below in the comments if you think Alan Senora should be part of this June camp. Otherwise, again, please subscribe to the channel as it helps immensely for YouTube to push this video out to more people. Like the video so more people can find it. And I will see you next time on FIFA America. Bye!
Thank you.